Hi everyone, in this video we will go through common logarithms. We will figure out how to find log value using log tables. What is common logarithm? Logarithms to the base 10 are known as common logarithms. Anything to base 10 is known as common logarithms. Now, logarithm of numbers between 1 and 10, right? If you have numbers say 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, between 1 and 10, then the log value would be between 0 and 1. If you need to find the log of numbers, which is between 0 0.1 and 0 0.001. So, in between these, the log values would be between minus 1 to minus 2. Notice one thing over here. Log 1 is 0. Log 10 is 1. So, log of numbers between 1 and 10, say 2, 3, 4, 5, would be between 0 and 1. Right? Similarly, here you have 0 0.1, which is, which you can write as 10 to the power minus 1 also. That is 1 by 10. 1 by 10 is 0 0.1. So, log of 0 0.1 is minus 1. Log of 0 0.001 is minus 2. So, if there are numbers between 0 0.1 to 0 0.001, say for example, 0 0.15, right? 0 0.15, 0 0.16. So, if you have numbers like this, then the log values would be between minus 1 and minus 2. There are two main things in logs, right? One is characteristics and mantissa. What is a characteristic? Now, suppose, we are finding the log of 25.63, okay? And the value, the log value of 25.63 is 1.4085. The integral part, the part where there is integer, what is an integer? Integer is a number, whole number. which It is not a decimal, it is not a fraction. Integer is a complete number, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, integral part, that is, the numbers before the decimal point, numbers before the decimal point is called as an integral part. And this integral part is referred as characteristics. So, if you have 25.63, this 25 is the integral part or the characteristic. And this 63, 0.63 is called the decimal part or the fractional part. Right? And, and this becomes the mantissa. So, the decimal part or fractional part is the mantissa. Integral part is the characteristic. Given that we have to find log value of say 33.76. We will have to find characteristic separately and we have to find mantissa separately. So, characteristic is determined by the number of digits. That is the number of digits in the integral part. Now, this is the integral part. How many number of digits are there? Two digits. So, characteristic will be number of digits minus 1. Number of digits minus 1. So, we have two digits minus 1. So, characteristic is 1. So, it will be log value of this will be 1 point something. Okay, and this something is found from the logarithmic table, right? And this is called as mantissa, right? The, the decimal portion is called as a mantissa and it is found from the log table. So, here's the log table. We'll have to find log of 33.76. We have to find this log. So, what you'll do is you take the first two digits, 33, first two digits. Doesn't matter whether there is decimal or not, right? Just take the first two digits right and go to the first column this is the first column right look for 33 so 33 is here then what is the then go to the third digit this is the third digit third digit is 7 so go to go to the column go to the topmost column see where 7 is there right look at the column look at the column whose heading is 7 so here we have 7 right now come directly, right, come to this particular position, which is, which is in 33rd row, right, which is in this 33rd row and 7th column, you see this particular number, which is 5276, 5276, okay. Then now come to the 4th digit, 4th digit is 6. So 4th digit, you should always look from this mean difference column. There is a separate section called as mean difference section, right? Now, look for 6. Fourth digit is 6. Look for this fourth digit 6 and come to that particular position where 5276 is there. Now, so it is 8. What do we have? 8, right? So, now what we'll have to do is, we'll have to take this 5276, add it with 8. Take 5276, add it with 8, right? So, you will get 5284. When you add 
you will get 5 to 8 4 right so now this 5 to 8 4 is the mantissa and this 1 1 is the characteristic how did we get 1 number of digits number of digits minus 1 is the characteristic so characteristic is 1 and this is the mantissa 5 to 8 4 and this is obtained from the log table this is obtained from the log table here we have obtained the log value of 33.76 which is 1.5284 1 being the characteristic and 5284 being the mantissa mantissa is obtained from the log table and characteristic is obtained by finding out the number of digits let me just go through the steps again first step is take first two digits right take first two digits and look look for it in the first column right then choose column with third digit third digit right go to the column which has third digit which is seven now so you come to this particular column with third digit which is seven right now you move from this particular row 33 from 33 you come till this column 7 you have the number 5276 then you go to fourth digit which is 6 come to fourth digit which is 6 in the mean difference section right come to this particular value right which is 8 which is 8 it should be in the same row as this 33 in the same row as 33 you should find value which corresponds to this particular column 6 that is it should it should be in the column of the fourth digit 6 right here it meets and we get the number 8 now this number 5276 and 8 should be added add the values of add the values obtained in step 2 and step 3 right and then and then that becomes the after adding this becomes the mantissa and characteristic anyway you would have obtained by knowing the number of digits here it is 33 two digits so two digits minus one becomes one so this is the log value now let's take another example say we want to find the log value of 337.6 it's the same number if you see here we had 33.76 here let's look for 337.6 it doesn't matter where the decimal point is right whether it is 337.6 or 3376 right it doesn't matter the mantissa that is the value that you get from the log table the value you get from the log table is going to be same because you'll always take the first two digits third digit and fourth digit and find the log value we really don't care as to where the decimal point is only in in case of characteristic right we'll have to know how many digits are there before the decimal point here there are three digits so characteristic would be three digits minus one which is two now we'll take the characteristic and then we'll take the mantissa and put the decimal point in between so 2.5284 is the log value now if you notice if you notice your log value of 33.76 is 1.5284 log value of 337.6 is 2.5284 so this number 1 and 2 just indicates the number of digits now you take another example which is 3376 your characteristics would be four digits so four digits minus one four digits minus one is the characteristic so it's three so it's going to be now mantissa is going to be same from the log table five two eight four so we are going to append we are going to append characteristic and mantissa to get the log value so it's going to be three three point five two eight four how do we find characteristic for numbers which are less than one such as 0 0.3 0 0.03 0 0.003 right in the earlier case we had 33.76 333.76 33 something like this right we had we had to find log values for these numbers now what if you have values such as 0 0.3 0 0.03 0 0.003 something like that right in this case how do we find the characteristic in this case what we'll have to do is we'll have to find the place place of the non-zero number non-zero number right so if you look at this first case 0 0.3376 in which place is the non-zero number it is in the first place after the decimal point after the decimal point it is in the first place so characteristic would be first place that is one it will be minus you'll have to put minus sign minus sign 
because in this case now what's happening is the number is after the decimal point the first number the first non zero number is after the decimal point in the earlier cases the first number was before the decimal point in this case the first number is after the decimal point before the decimal point it is zero so in this case there is a different way to find the characteristic so you find the place of the non zero number and that will be the characteristic with the minus sign here mantissa you will find as usual from the log table you will take 33 76 from the log table and get the log value only thing is you will have to append minus 1 and minus 1 is denoted as a dash on top and 1 or dash on top 2 dash 3 this is how we denote a minus sign in characteristic let's take another uh, example you have to find 0.03376 now how do you find the characteristic it is what is the place in which this non zero number is there three is the non zero number in which place it is it is in the second decim second place it is in the second place after the decimal point therefore we'll call it as minus 2 like this and then we'll append this 5284 so it's going to be like this 5284 so this is the log value now we'll take another example how to find the log of 563.5 563.5 first let's find the characteristic how many digits do we have before the decimal point we have three digits then minus 1 2 2 so 2 is the characteristic and then we'll find the mantissa from the log table so it is 5635 so let's look for 56 in the first column this is the first column 56 the next column is 3 let's look for 3 3 is here so we'll keep proceeding from 56 till we find 3 so we found 3 here So here, this is the number seven five zero five, seven five zero five. Now let's go to fourth digit. Fourth digit is five. Now let's go to the fourth digit in the mean difference. Fourth digit should be looked in the mean difference. It is number five. So here's number five. Now from this number, that is in this particular row where fifty six is there, you keep moving till you meet this particular column, column five. So the number that you have is the value that you have is four. So here we got seven five zero five. Here we got four. Now we'll add both these numbers. We'll get seven five zero nine. So the seven five zero nine is going to be the mantissa, and characteristic is two. So this is the log value. Now what about finding log value of twelve? Right? You have only two digits here, not four digits. So if you if you just have two digits, assume the third digit is zero. Right? Assume the third digit is zero. So now twelve. Right? So you come to the log table, look for first column with twelve. So this is the twelfth row, right? A row with number twelve. You take that the column is zero, right? You assume that after twelve you have zero. Come to the zeroth column and see the value. The value is zero seven nine two. Zero seven nine two. So this zero seven nine two is the mantissa, and characteristic is number of digits is two. Two minus one one. One point zero seven nine two is the log value. Now let's find the log value of this one. Zero point zero zero five seven. Now this is less than one, right? In this case, how do we find the characteristic? we'll have to look at the place in which the non zero number is there in which place do we have non zero number we have it in third place after decimal point since it is after decimal point we'll put minus sign and which place it's in third place so minus 3 so characteristic is minus 3 now we'll find the mantissa so mantissa is we have 57 here 57 so let's come to the column look for 57 in the first column we should have 57 After fifty-seven, we don't have anything, so we assume it is zero. Go to the zeroth column, so fifty-seven zero, we get seven five five nine, seven five five nine. So seven five five nine is the mantissa. Now we append characteristic and mantissa, and this becomes the log value. This is the log value. Now let's find log of this one, zero point zero 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 six three. Here, what is the characteristic? So, since it is after decimal point, since it is less than one after decimal point, so it will be minus. Like this, and it's going to be three. In which place do we have the number? It is fourth place. Fourth place we have the number, so we'll put minus four. So log value is minus four, and then we'll have to find the mantissa. So let's look for the column where sixty-three is present. This is sixty-three. Let's go to the column where zero is there. There's nothing after sixty-three, so we assume it is a zero. So sixty-three and zero, it meets here. The number is seven nine nine three. Seven nine nine three. So seven nine nine three is the mantissa. Now we append minus four. That is characteristic and mantissa together, and this becomes the log value. 
with this we've come to the end of this particular topic if you have found this video useful do press a like and share it thank you